My absolute favorite playing card designer is Stockholm 17, also known as my good friend Lorenzo Gagiotti. No, <laughs> why can't I say his last name? Gagiotti. It's like when I say uh, Fabrizio Muscogiuri. <laughs> okay, I'm really bad with the Italian names. I know all about pizza anyways. If we're just meeting, my name is Caroline Raven. I am a full-time magician and YouTuber and also the co-creator of Raven Playing Cards. And in this video, I thought I'd show you an unboxing, short review, and also tell you a little bit about the latest work of Lorenzo Gagliotti, his The Eye of the Ocean, okay? If you haven't seen them, he did an amazing campaign. I know, because I went to the party. <laughs> it was great. I have been thinking for such a long time that I should just do an opening and review, and then, you know, I realized I don't have the cards, because I'm a terrible friend, because I didn't back the project. So this video is, in a way, sponsored by Stockholm 17, because he did give me all of the decks in hand before I went home. That was very, very nice of you, Lorenzo. Thank you so much. But I thought I'd just tell you a little something about the eye of the ocean. Most of the time when we design playing cards, it's to do that. It's to do playing cards, right? But Lorenzo, a few years ago, I can't remember, I went there for a coffee and he was like, I have this idea for a book. And I was like, what? <laughs> and uh, and he was like showing me sketches and ideas and what he wanted to do. And I was like, that's that's so cool. Cause I, and I never knew in that moment that this was gonna be what it is today. I think this is by far his best work yet. I'm gonna show it to you. Let's start with the first ones. So I'm just gonna show this briefly and then I'll tell the story. So this is Solis. Look at this. Let me see if I can get this in focus. There we go. The blue one, this is the, the sun one. And then we have the moon one, which is also absolutely gorgeous. So back to the story, which is the novel, okay? Lorenzo decided to write a novel. He didn't do it himself. He hired a team to actually write the book for him, which is a genius move, by the way. I haven't read the book. As far as I understand, it's about a man who designed a map and then he took that map and he chopped it into 56 different pieces. And those are the cards. That's what I'm assuming, okay? First of all, that's a very, very interesting idea for a deck of cards, to have something like a puzzle. So that's basically where it started at. So he created this story and the cards are the puzzle that comes with it. So if you wanna like figure out the story, figure out this, the puzzle really, what you need to do is you need to own the moon and the sun, that's the blue and the green deck, and you will need uh, the book cover, which is so, so cool. It is so cool. It's like a leather bookcase thing where you can, you can spin it and it's so cool and it's so pretty, it's amazing. And I've felt it, it's so heavy it's gorgeous have I used enough words for this to, to let you know how amazing this product is so you need that to be able to figure out what this puzzle is amazing so as you understand it part of this story is fiction and some is like reality well the story isn't reality but the places that they're gonna be going to the myths about legends like giants and stuff like that people actually believed in these things back in the day and probably some people still do believe that maybe there was giants living on this planet way before uh, I mainly think of them as t-rexes but you know so what I really like when he explained the story to me was that he actually well as I said mixed fiction and also like legends and stuff like that and and bringing in different cultures to make this super duper interesting well, the campaign had a bunch of different variations of like stretch goals and stuff like that. So the original idea was to create the story with the book and the blue and green one. And then I think, I think they added on, he added on the black one later on, which is gorgeous by the way. And then we have the red one, which is, has nothing to do with, uh, with the story at all. But I think I'm gonna open one of them up and show it to you, because I haven't felt these yet. Well, I know something about it. I know that it's it's gonna be Cartamundi, because it says on the box, which means I'm gonna really enjoy opening these up. Ah, oh, look at this. My goodness, look at the detailing on this thing. This is so, so nice. Remember that leather book cover thing I mentioned with the spinning thing? You also have the same thing going around here. So you're gonna need that to figure out what the puzzle is. So when you're watching this on a video, it might be hard to see all of the details that go into this, but I'm gonna try to show you as much as I possibly can. So these things here, they're actually holes, okay? 
And the same thing on the back, the box contains a lot of different holes to like give us peaks and um, like clues to the jigsaw puzzle, because this one has a different set than this one does. Really, really cool. So on the top, it says something that I realized I should have had my glasses on to read. <laughs> I'm so old. Is it even English? No, it makes it easier for me to not do this. I I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not English. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says the eye of the ocean, we have the sun, we have poker size playing cards, I also think that might be Latin down there, and then we go to this side, we have the eye of the ocean on this side, on this side as well, on the bottom it says, designed by Stockholm 17, we have boxes printed by Lotrek, and that's why they are amazing, and they're printed by Carta Mundi, and it looks like this. All right. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's go to the back. You see here, this is the back design. And as far as I understand, let me double check. They are similar, but not the same. So here we have one of those triads. Is that what it's called? And then it's like a nice little, um, I guess, <laughs> like a swirly thing going around. Going all the way around. And then we have a year that's 1776. Not sure why he picked 76, but 17, we obviously know, he keeps coming back to that all the time. Um, it has something that's called a long flap, so that means you open it like this. Oh, but that is so satisfying! Why is that so satisfying? Ah, oh, it's so good! <laughs> okay, um, before, I, before I forget, there's the top as well, this is the soulless and this is actually the gilded ones so it's numbered this is number 531 out of 1600 so we're gonna have inner printings on the box and I'm dying this is why this is why everybody else who is designing playing cards should just I wanted to say bend over but that's not what you're supposed to do uh, like what is the word for that when you see a king and you're like bowing you're bowing you should bow to the master of creating playing cards I mean take a look at this this is gorgeous with the holes and everything and the detailing ah my goodness there are some details on the flaps look at that really really nice and oh there's oh there's an extra card here is it it's just printed. I thought first it was like a, like a uh, like a sticker, but it's not. It's just a very nice fancy paper. And speaking of fancy paper, my goodness. Okay, take a look at this. All the way in. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Normally, when I do a deck review, it's like seven minute long video but this is gonna be like a 70 minute long video because it's this is so much detail so much detail and I, I think maybe that's the key to making this a great jigsaw puzzle because when Lorenzo does something it's either like a, this huge like the tarot deck that he did like a hugely designed and amazing or he goes like well this is also designed and amazing but here he adds something extra something with so much value and creating this together with a book and together with a jigsaw puzzle it's just amazing. I'm just blown away. All right, let's open the cards. And these are gilded because this is part of the limited edition version. Oh, I don't want to bend them. But yeah, it's the card the Mooney way. That's why we have to do it like this. All righty. Okay, there we go. I don't want to ruin them. I do not want to. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, look at this. It is shiny. It's bright. It's pretty. It's perfect. And I'm not talking about my face or my hair today. I have a really, really bad hair day because I did a show yesterday and I had so much product in my hair. And then I was like, oh, I'll take a shower tomorrow. And then I didn't. And here we are. <laughs> so thank you for watching this channel, by the way. If you're getting any value, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. We have quite fun here. Before we move on, all of these cards are custom. So we're not going to be able to go through them all because, you know, that's just ridiculous. Um, they don't come in a standard deck order, so I'll just, oh my goodness, I don't know which way to do this for you. Take a look at these, okay? Look at this. They look old and they have so much detail. Take a look at this. 
suck it in. Like, look at this gorgeous piece of work. Again, not my face. Look at this. Oh, yo, 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 yo. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm a footballer. Like, oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Have you seen that show, by the way? Ted Lasso on Apple Plus, I think. It is so good. So, so good. And take a look at this. So, all of these cards, I'm not going to show you all of them because that's ridiculous. Uh, as I said, you're going to need the both of the, um, the blue one and the green one. The Solis and what is all one of them called? Lune? Maybe? That's how you pronounce it? You're going to need them both to be able to figure out this puzzle. And so, uh, as you see here, this is like islands. So if you lay them out, as far as I understand it, you're gonna get the map of the 56 cards. So maybe, I don't know what I wanted to say with the maybe because I got distracted. Uh, but let's take a look at the Ace of Spades. Mm -hmm. Oish. Oish. I have no words. I have no words. And there we have this one. Gorgeous piece of work. Mm -hmm. Like a joker, but not a joker. Another one. Just another one. Okay, so let's go back to the, the map. What the map actually is. Oh, this is a codex. This is a key. Look at that. Wow. This has taken him so long, by the way. I, I remember talking to him about this project and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy because he's been drawing all of these. All of these. So good. The cards are Slimline B9, so we know we're going to be happy with these. And they feel so good, even though they're gilded and they have like shiny on the back as well as the sides. It's, it's, it feels amazing, but I... I wouldn't say that I would ever do like magic or play solitaire with these cards. By the way, did you know that he has an app, solitaire app, where you can play solitaire on like your phone? Really cool. Go support it because you're a good friend. That's what you do. So all of the pieces that create this map, it's, oh, it has roots, routes, roots. That's in the ground, routes. I think routes is the good. I'm Swedish. Give me a break. You see here? Like you can see where the boats are supposed to go. Genius. So as you understand it, this is going to be the map of the Pacific Ocean. So basically going to see the Bermuda and going to Spain and some parts of Africa. And you're going to figure out this entire amazing puzzle. So, 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 so cool. I'm actually going to see my dad down in the south now for a few days. Maybe I'll bring it. And because this thing would be a fun project to actually sit down and work on. I don't have the book though. I need a book. Lorenzo, hello. But these look absolutely gorgeous. Let me just open up the green one real quick. Here we go. Open it up. Open it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They are uh, very similar. The only difference that I seem to be seeing, just, just by looking at it for like a second, up here is a moon, and on the other one, it, there seemed to be like a sun or like a point. See that? And then, of course, the positioning of the openings, because uh, I'm assuming that's going to be part of the puzzle. Uh, and also, we have a moon here instead of the sun. We have the same on the sides. We have the same top, but a different name and also a different number in my case. And then on the bottom, it says the same thing. It's really nice. And then the back is slightly different, too. So this is like a key. See that? Was the other one also key? I have to think now. Uh, no, I just think it's a triad. I think this one though, this is definitely a key. So cool. Same thing, long flap. I wonder if the insides are the same. The inner printing seems to be the same. I think so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we open them up and I am loving the color. Same thing here, we have one of these. Look at this, oh, so good. I feel like I need a green deck in my life. Like I, we had a green one back in the day. A um, Raven, oh, do you remember the name? The Green Ravens, what was the name? What was the name? Say my name, say my name. Uh, no, what was the name of the Green Ravens? Let me know in the comments below. 
Um, okay, so look at this. Same thing. Same thing. Super duper pretty. I think I like the green one better than the blue one. Same thing. Gorgeous cards. Gorgeous cards. Let me see if the cards are identical. Yep, they seem to be identical. There might be small variations. I am not sure yet because I haven't looked through it all. So I found this. This seemed to be the same thing as this one, no? And maybe it's a clue where she's holding it. And then just take a look at this. Mm -mm -mm. It's gorgeous. I, yes. I think we have to take a look at the black one as well. Blah, it's gorgeous. Okay, so it has something that we don't see very often. It has a cut out, like flip, I don't even know what this is. It's very, very cut out. So take a look at this. This is, th these are the cards. And look at this. These are numbered. Amazingly gorgeous. This is the pole star on the front. And, uh, you know, it's, it has like openings. You see here, this seems to also be like a clue. All of these things, even though it's not because this is not part of the quest and it's also numbered really really pretty this is the polar star i'm just going to show this to you and be very braggy that i have one okay so if you didn't like me before uh, i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not sorry but this is absolutely gorgeous this i'm going to save for a very very rainy day very rainy day mm. so nice i think this yeah it is so around here we have names of the planets that's really cool and then just because i want to open it and see what it is wait. This is the red one. Really cool, let's open it up. This box was made by a different company. So this one was actually made by a um, by an Italian, an Italian creator. Let me practice my Italian. Buschiero, Buschiero and Newton. Same concept, amazing box. We have the, the same thing going around here. We have the same design on the back. We, what we don't see on the front is the cutout for the for the map thing that we have on these, obviously, because it's not part of the quest. And the back, we have a Swedish flag. Really, really pretty. Let's open it up. Oi. Okay. So pretty. So royal. Same thing on the on the inside. This one is not gilded. So this is. It's still very shiny and bright and gorgeous. Let's open this up. But look at the shine. Look at the shine on these. Look. I'm so shiny. So nice. And they feel amazing. They feel so good. And they look even better. Like, take a look at this. It's falling down the gold and the blood. What am I saying? Really, really pretty. The cards seem to be the exact same as in the other deck. Yes, indeed. But we have this one that is different. We have the back design that is absolutely stunning. What can I say? No surprise that this deck did so well. And since I haven't bought the book or re read the book for that matter, I have no idea of how good the story is. I do know, however, and this might be, I might have to edit this out. Um, I do know that there is a second part of the story that's about to come out. So that's gonna be super duper exciting. I'm gonna have to ask him if I'm allowed to leave this in here though, <laughs> because I'm not sure that's like published yet. Um, but you know what? Full disclosure, like full honesty, full amazingness. The cards are amazing. They are amazing. Of course, the one with not the, the gilding on the sides feels way better because with the gilding, it's um, it doesn't stick together. That's not the right word, but it becomes a little more stiff. If you've ever played with cards with gilding before, you know what I mean. Um, it might be a thing you have to break in, but out of, why would you? Like, why would you? But this one, 
It's amazing. If you really like playing cards and you don't already follow Stockholm 17, it's about time you do so. I'm gonna leave a link to Stockholm 17's social media in the description below so you can go check him out. He's absolutely amazing. And uh, there might be something Raven y coming out in the near future. And when I say near future, I'm thinking maybe two years. Uh, so, just very early on, talks about possibly joining Venture again. We've already done 11 decks together, and I'm so happy to have been working with him for such a long time. So honored, so happy to be working with him. Really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed his work, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye! Oh no, the cards are falling down! No!